सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदी टू दी मंगलाचरण ऑफ द ग्रंथ आफ्टर फर्स्ट मंगलाचरण श्लोक विच इज देर इन योर बुक गीता प्रेस बुक विल डू दीज टू मंगलाचरण इन दिगिनिंग एंड विल एंड विथ अनदर नत्वा सरस्वती नृत्तावसाने विल एंड विथ नृत्तावसाने एट द एंड ऑफ दी पाठा शुक्ला ब्रह्म विचार सार परमाद्या जगत व्यापिनीणा पुस्तकधारिणी अभयदाध्यांधकारापस्ते स्फाटिकलिका विदधती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदेता परमेशरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदा शारदा न्वा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा गुण्या कौम्यहम पाणिनीय प्रवेशा लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदी सो लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदी इज अ व्याकरण ग्रंथ क्रिएटेड बाय श्री वरदाचार्य श्री वरदाचार्य एंड इट हैज अराउंड अराउंड ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड सूत्रास आउट ऑफ फोर थाउजंड सूत्रास ऑफ अष्टाध्यायी अष्टाध्यायी इज अ व्याकरण ग्रंथ क्रिएटेड बाय पाणिनी महर्षी एंड दे हॅव एट चॅप्टर्स पाणिनी महर्षी क्रिएटेड दिस फोर फोर थाउजंड सूत्रास इन टू एट चॅप्टर्स इच ऑफ दोज चॅप्टर्स आर डिवाइड इन टू फोर पादास फोर क्वार्टर्स सो देर आर एट इन टू फोर क्वार्टर्स मेक अप दी एंटायर अष्टाध्याय विच इन्क्लूड फोर थाउजंड सूत्रास नाव दी सूत्रास are written in the order that is easiest to memorize and easiest to keep the sutra shorter sutras have to be very short since they were memorized and it is easier to remember if they are short and there is a flow the sutras it's like a like uh, uh, like the thread that weaves the flowers together and you get a garland so sutras are uh, sutra is a thread so it's, all the sutras are short and like there is a there is a flow between the sutras as if a garland is made and there why there, there is a connection between the sutras some kind of connection would be there in the sutras so that you can keep the sutra short any sutra short and still make it meaningful by bringing in words from the other sutras mostly from the earlier sutra immediately earlier sutra or some of the earlier sutras or many of the earlier sutras or one sutra which has preceded long back also is possible and in very rare cases from words which are following in the sutras as in in other sutras which follow from those words the vritti or the meaning is made of a particular sutra so the order was made in such a way that the the flow is smooth the sutras are kept short and you can still make them meaningful and it is easier to remember these sutras this is how the sutras were created and this is how ashtadhyayi is created but it is difficult to understand the sutra uh, as in uh, not the sutra individual sutra but it is difficult to understand the application of the sutra being so vast generally sutra has its application across prakriyas across tinganta uh, subanta krudanta some sutras may be valid across the grantha there may be some sutra which will interpret other sutra which which may be a meta sutra paribhashika sutra technical sutra which is used to interpret other sutras and i had this application across the grantha and some may be applicable only in a particular prakriya like tinganta only in tinganta the sutra is valid tinganta is a verb tinganta is thing thing is a pratyaya that pratyaya suffix is at the end of which word that word is called as a tinganta subanta is that word which has sup sup is a pratyaya sup pratyaya at its end that is the subanta which is a noun so some sutras may have application only in tinganta some may have across tinganta and subanta some ac- across this sutra patha itself and so on and so forth thereby 
इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड प्रक्रिया थ्रू अष्टाध्याय क्रम द ऑर्डर ऑफ अष्टाध्याय सो वॉट दी सिद्धांत कौमुदी कारा डेट विच इज कॉल कौमुदी ग्रंथ दिस कौमुदी ग्रंथ अर्स दी सिद्धांत कौमुदी लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदी सो वॉट ही डेट भट्टोजी दीक्षित हू क्रिएटेड सिद्धांत कौमुदी ही चेंज द ऑर्डर ऑफ द अष्टाध्याय चेंज एज इन he reordered the ashtadhyayi for the prakriya uh, process as in the process of the prakriya wherever you are deriving tinganta so that will be tinganta prakriya so in tinganta prakriya whichever sutras are needed he would use those but how is it made in that order whenever a sutra is needed that time in a derivation in a derivation of a particular padam padam is a declined word suptingantam padam subantam and tingantam are called padam a declined word in sanskrit you do not use a non declined word and non declined word cannot be used it is asadu prayoga it is not sadu prayoga one has to decline the word and use as a subanta or a tinganta and that is called as a padam now while deriving a particular padam say tinganta padam to deriving a verb whichever sutra is needed at a particular step like a formula akin to a formula in a mathematical derivation wherever you need a formula you bring in that formula and derive that particular step then for another step you may need another formula and so on similarly here in the kaumudi granthas what is done is in which prakriya you need Uh, in a derivation of a particular word you need whichever sutra on a need basis that sutra is introduced and this is how the krama came about to be in siddhanta kaumudi so siddhanta kaumudi uh, deals with all the 4000 sutras of panini maharshi's ashtadhyayi but lagu siddhanta kaumudi takes only 1200 of those 4000 sutras in the 4000 sutras really around 2400 or so sutras are chandasa sutras meaning vaidika usage and these days vaidika usage hardly anyone studies so therefore only around 1600 sutras are there which have non vaidika usage as in laukika usage and among those 1200 are dealt with uh, maybe not among those there are 1200 sutras uh, are not necessarily from 1600 but they they may be across Uh, the laukika as well as vaidika words so overall 1200 sutras out of 4000 are dealt with by sri varadacharya who is the lagu siddhanta kaumudi kara he is the author of lagu siddhanta kaumudi lagu it is lagu as in it is shorter compared to 4000 it is 1200 is much much shorter so lagu siddhanta kaumudi is that kind of a work so what is lagu siddhanta kaumudi kaumudi is ko is prithvi ko is prithvi and kau modate iti kumuda so that which is that uh, which rejoices uh, mudes harshe in the meaning of uh, harsha so kau kau is prithivyam on prithvi modate rejoices on prithvi therefore kumuda it is called kumuda it can be a lotus or a lily so here in this case it is lily lily that uh, which comes up is at which blooms at night lotus blooms during the day while kumuda uh, kumuda is that which blooms at night so it's a lily and kaumudi is kumuda sambandhi kumuda sambandhi is kaumudi and what is the sambandha kumuda ana iyam इन स्त्रीलिंग इं कौमुदी तदिता तदित वृत्ति सो कौमुदी इज अ चंद्रिका बेसिकली इट मीन चंद्रिका चंद्रिका दैट विच इज लाइक अ मून लाइट इट लाइट्स अप इट लाइट्स अप समथिंग दैट इज कौमुदी वॉट डज इट लाइट अप इट लाइट्स अप दिस ज्ञान विच इज हिडन इन व्याकरण व्याकरण मुखम प्रोक्त व्याकरण इज सेट टू बी मुख ऑफ द वेद इफ वेद इज अ पुरुष देन वॉट इज दिस व्याकरण व्याकरण इज दि मुख ऑफ वेदास वेदास आर अंडरस्टूड थ्रू दि व्याकरण इट सेल्फ अदरवाइज वन के नॉट अंडरस्टैंड वेदास एंड वेदास आर ज्ञान सो देर फोर 
Kaumudi is that which reveals this Vyakrana. And what Vyakrana? That is Siddhanta. Siddhanta. Siddha Antaha Yasya. That is Siddhanta. So that which has its end, end as in culmination or Tatparya is established. So the Sutras, what is the meaning of the Sutra? How it should be used? Where should it be used? At which step? Which Sutra should be brought in? All this is done by Kaumudikara. Therefore, it is called as a Siddhanta. This Vyakrana, Vyakrana Sutras, how to interpret the Sutras, how to make a Vritti of the Sutras, how to make this Sutra meaningful by bringing something else, some other word from the other Sutra and make a proper Anvaya, Anvaya Vritti and uh, explain that Sutra, make it meaningful with words from other Sutras. So thereby the Antha is Siddha. It's, it's Tatparya is Siddha, established, therefore it is called Siddhanta and Siddhanta Nam Kaumudi Chandrika, Prakashika, that which lights up the Siddhanta, which shows the established end of the Sutra is Siddhanta Kaumudi and Laghu, Laghu it is Laghu, it is shorter, in Sri Linga it will become Laghvi, so Laghvi Chasau Siddhanta Kaumudi Cha Laghu Siddhanta Kaumudi, so this Siddhanta Kaumudi which is shorter is Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudi, that is the meaning of this Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudi and it is created by whom? It is Pranita, it is created by Sri Varadacharya, he was an Acharya and his name was Varadacharya, so therefore he is called Varadacharya, Sri Varadacharya Pranita Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudi and Pranita is Tanta, this is Tata Pratya and A for Sri Linga because Kaumudi is Sri Linga, so Sri Varadacharya Yena Yena Pranita. By Vardacharya it is created this Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudi. The Mangalacharana of the Grantha is this Natva Saraswati in Devi. But before that we will do a Prarthana to, we did the Prarthana already, so I will explain this, what is this Prarthana to Sharada who is Saraswati. So Vande, Vande is the word, Aham Vande. Uttama Purusha Ekvachana Aham Vande Each and every student says Aham Vande I bow down Whom? So karma, karma is expected So Tam Parameshwarim Aham Vande Tam Sharadam Vande Who is Parameshwari So Sharada who is Saraswati Who is Parameshwari Paramacha so Ishwari cha Parameshwari And Tam Parameshwarim who is Bhagavati? Bhagaha Asyaha Asti iti Bhagavati or Bhagaha Asyaha Santi iti Bhagavati Matu Pratya is there. Matu Pratya uh, means that she has, she has something or something is there in her. What is that? Uh, Bhagaha. So Bhagaha, she has Bhagaha, therefore she is called as Bhagavati and she is Ishwari and she is Parama, she is the highest uh, Ishwarasya. Uh, Patni, Stri, Patni, Iti, Ishwari. So she is Ishwari and there is no bheda between Ishwara and Ishwari to us. There, is, there are no two genders or anything at that level, at that Parama level and uh, therefore it is that, that sentient entity which makes everyone sentient, Atma basically and in manifested as Sharada Saraswati, the goddess of learning and to her I bow down because I need Jnana and she can make my buddhi sharp and help me understand, get this Jnana, this Vyakrana Jnana, Vyakrana Shastra Jnana. So Tam Parameshwarim Bhagavati Sharada Maham Vande and why? Because she is Buddhi Prada. She Buddhim Pradadati, Prakarshena Dadati Iti Buddhi Prada and Tam Buddhi Prada Maham Vande. I go down to that Sharada who bestows Buddhi. Buddhi everyone has but Sharper makes that intellect sharper, therefore I go down to her. And who is the Sharada? She is Shukla. She is Shukla. Shukla is Shubra. She is bright. And bright as in she wears white, therefore also white. Uh, uh, Shukla or Shukla is, or has a meaning of Shuddha. So she is ever pure. She is untouched by the, by anything. She is untouched by anything. She is beyond anything that you can objectify as that, therefore she is always Shuddha. And Brahma Vichara Sara Paramam Adhyam Jagadvyapinim. She is Adhyam. Adhyam. Adho Bhava. 
Adya. She is there in the beginning. Beginning as in before the creation also, the creator exists and she is in the form of the creator. Therefore, she is existent in the beginning. And Jagat Vyapinim, she herself pervades as the Jagat. She pervades as the world. She becomes the manifest world. Ishwara himself or herself becomes the manifest world. And Brahma Vichara Sara Parama. Parama and in second case Tam Paramam. So she is the highest essence of Brahma Vichara. She, she, is, she is what? Is Brahma. What is called as Brahma in the Shastra. She is that. She is the manifestation in the form of Goddess of Learning. In the form of this manifested world also. And she is the essence of Brahma Vichara. So Sara Vichara. Uh, Sara of Vichara, essence of Vichara or Brahma. And how is she manifest as goddess of learning? She has Veena and goddess of music also. Music is also uh, knowledge. But we uh, say that she is a goddess of music and we say she is goddess of learning. We separate it out. Therefore, Veena and Pustaka depict these Veena, music and Pustaka, learning. So she holds Veena and Pustaka. Therefore, Veena, Pustaka, Dharini. And Abhayadam, she, uh, Abhayam Dadati iti Abhayadam, Abhayadam and Tam Abhayadam. So who is the Sharada? She is Abhayadam. She bestows Abhaya also. Dityadvai Bhayam Bhavati. This entire world of plurality, duality, plurality, I see outside of me, I become limited by that and then I have fear. Whenever I am alone, I feel feel fear people say but they, they are afraid because there is a fear of another someone else being there thereby there is a fear and uh, as long as that there is some second entity separate from you there will be fear but she grants in the end with the, because she is Brahma Vichara Sara Parama she is the highest essence of the Brahma Vichara also uh, Shruti Vichara also of Vedanta and thereby she will give that Atma Jnana also finally and thereby Abhayadana. She gives Abhayadana and by providing knowledge she gives this Abhaya. Therefore Jadyandakara Paham. Jadyandakara Paha Tam Jadyandakara Paham. She takes away. She takes away Andakara. Andakara is what? Tamas. The Avidya is Andakara. She takes away that and it is Jadya. So we say that uh, Jada Buddhi. So Jada Buddhi is because that Jnana, final Atma Jnana is not there. One thinks oneself as a limited person and thereby uh, one has this Jadyata, that Jadyam, not Jadyata, Jadyam is there. That Jadyam she takes away. Jadya is Andhakara. That Ajnana is Jadya and Ajnana is Andhakara. Tamas, she takes away that by light, by light of knowledge. Therefore, Jadyandakara Paha Tam Jadyandakara Paha Sharada Aham Vande. I go down to her. All these are adjectives to same Sharada and in second case. And Haste Spartika Malika Vidadatim. Vidadatim, she holds, she holds Haste in the hand, Saptami Ekavachana. In the hand, she holds uh, Spartika Mala. So she holds a Spartika Mala. And how is she seated? Padmasana Samustita. She is she is, Samustita. She is seated in Padmasana. In the Padmasana posture. And Tam Parameshwarim Bhagavati Sharada Aham Vande. I go down. This is our prayer. We do this prayer in every patha. And then the Mangala Charana of the Granthakara. Sorry. So Granthakara does the Mangala Charana. Granthakara is Shri so he says what? Natva Saraswati Jain Shuddham Gudnyam Karomyaham Pani Niya Praveshaya Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudin. So Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudin Aham Karomi. This is the main sentence there. Aham Karomi. Aham Varadacharya Ha. Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudin Karomi. I create this Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudin. Kim Krutva doing what? So Natva. Natva Tvanta Prapada. It's an obvious. Doing what? Doing Namaskara. Pravibhav. So that Nam Pravibhav Dhatu is there. I bow down. And having bowed down to says Varadacharya. And we also say the same thing. We say that having bowed down to Saraswati, who is a Devi, 
and what kind of Saraswati Devi she is? She is Shuddha. Shuddha has the same meaning as Shukla. Shukla and Shuddha are similar. So Shuddha, she is Shuddha and Gunya. Gunya is Guna Yukta. She has lot of Gunas which we want and therefore we bow down to her. And what is the purpose for this Namaskara? There is some Swartha. The Swartha is given by Paniniya Praveshaya Chaturthi. Chaturthi Vakti Tadarthi Chaturthi. For the purpose of Praveshaya, for Pravesha, for the purpose of entering into Pani, Paniniya. Paniniya is Paniniya Vyakrana, into Pravesha Vyakrana. So this is the beginning step by studying Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudi. We want to get into Panini. Finally the goal is to understand the Sutras, the Ashtadhyayi Sutras. Therefore this is a stepping stone and it will make us prepared. So this is the uh, Mangala Charana. We will do this for uh, uh, before each and every part huh? and uh, also why is this Mangala Charana done by the Granthakara? Because it is a culture, it is a tradition that uh, whenever something is, some arambha is done, some beginning is done, it is auspicious to pray. So thereby if the Acharya prays, prays then the Shishyas will also play, pray. This is the idea. And not only that, the Grantha when it is created, that time it should culminate into success. Whatever was the purpose, that should end in the Grantha. So it should see the end, it should be successfully completed and not only completed, it should also reach the masses who are intended as the students. These are the reasons and there is other reason also that there is Anubandha Chatushtaya also, the Vishaya, uh, Adhikari, Sambandha and Phala, all these are mentioned in the, uh, they are implied, they are implied in the Stotra, in the Mangalacharana itself, in the Shloka, Mangalacharana Shloka, it is, uh, it is implied. Uh, for example, here Vishaya, Vishaya we know that Panini Pravesha, so thereby we know Pani Niya is the Vishaya, there is this, the Vyakrana is the Vishaya. Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudi is being created, it's the Grantha Vishaya is what Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudi is the Grantha and its Vishaya is Pani Niya, the Sutras. And you see Praveshaya, so Praveshaya is mentioned there by Adhikari. Adhikari is mentioned is one who has not studied Pani Ni Sutra but knows enough Sanskrit so that he can study Sutras. Thereby that person becomes an Adhikari. So Vishaya is this, these are the Sutras, Vyakrana Shastra and Praveshaya. This indicates the Adhikari, one who has studied, studied other things as in Sahitya Mihime has studied uh, and uh, has some Sanskrit knowledge but does not know the Pada Shastra as in how these words are created. That kind of knowledge he does not have. Vyakrana Sutras he has not studied, thereby he becomes an Adhikari. The so Vishaya Adhikari, what is the phala? Phala is again contained in the same word. Paniniya Praveshaya to finally and get to Ashtadhyayi. So Ashtadhyayi complete uh, to understand that Paniniya is Panini Sambandhi. Panini Sambandhi is pa, Paniniya is Panini Krita. Panini Kritani Sutrani. Those sutras to understand the sutras, that is the phala. Vishaya is Vyakrana. One who is interested in Vyakrana but not studied Vyakrana but has enough knowledge of Sanskrit, Sanskrita as in usage wise he knows some Sanskrita, that person is Adhikari, Phala is what? Phala is this Prayojana, Phala is basically Prayojana, I am saying Phala, Prayojana is the uh, to enter, the person will get knowledge to enter Parni proper Ashtadhyayi. And what is the Sammandha? The Sammandha is this Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudi Grantha and the Sammandha between this and the, uh, the Vishaya and Phala is a Pratipada, Pratipadya Pratipadaka Sammandha. So this Lagu Siddhanta Kaumudi is going to reveal the methodology and thereby reveal the knowledge. So it's a revealer and the revealed. The Grantha is the revealer and the uh, Jnana which is contained there is, is the revealed. Therefore it's a revealed and revealer connection, Sambandha. So this is the Anubandha Chatushtaya which is contained, it is implied in the Mangala Charana. This is another reason that Mangala Charana is done. Now let's uh, move to uh, the Maheshwara Sutras.
सो महेश्वर सूत्र हर्षी एज अ यंग चाइल्ड और एज अ यंग पर्सन ही वॉज नॉट दैट शार्प स्टूडेंट वी शूडेंट बी सेंग डलर्ड बट देन दैट्स वॉट ही इज को स्टूडेंट यूज टू थिंक he was uh, teased as a panini uh, as a panini maharshi was teased as a uh, pandita putra in a derogatory sense that you are a putra of a pandita but you do not know uh, enough to be a pandita yourself and thereby he felt quite uh, burdened with that teasing and then he finally prayed to shankara he prayed to shiva and uh, earned his blessings in the form of these maheshwara sutras and these sutras have come from shankara's damru and these are the it is said that um, shiva came dancing and while dancing he played the damru and these uh, letters came from his damru in the form of sound and uh, panini maharshi was blessed by that and basically panini became a maharshi by that he became a maharshi by that blessing he understood the entire grammar based on this 14 sutras there are 14 sutras here i just put it in all in one line because it's easier to see the screen and uh, these sutras contain all the letters the way we know the vowels and the consonants swara and vyanjana swara means vowels and vyanjana are consonants so we know them as what a a e e u u r r a o i o am ah this is how we know them as swaras and then we know ka varga ka kha ga ga nya cha varga cha cha ja ja na ta varga ta varga pa varga this is how we know these 25 consonants then ya var la in whichever order we know as we are taught in school or however we have learned but these are organized in a different manner they are ordered in a different manner in these uh, sutras and based on these sutras short forms are created and based on the short forms the vyakarana sutras are created so th- these are the source these are the source for letters and thereby we say that the- these are not created by panini they are created by shiva and shiva gave it to him he so this, therefore they are called maheshwara sutras maheshwarat maheshwarat agatani maheshwarat agatani maheshwarani maheshwara sambandhi maheshwara sambandhi sutras are what what is the connection between the sutras and maheshwara maheshwara is shankara and from him they have come therefore they are called maheshwara maheshwara agatani sutrani maheshwarani iti uchyante these are 14 sutras so please chant uh, although you may be on mute still chant after me or along with me a e un a e un ri rik ri rik a om a om ai auch ai auch ha ya va rat ha ya va rat lan lan nyama gana nam nyama gana nam jhabanj jhabanj ghada dash ghada dash jaba gada dash jaba gada dash kha pha cha tha ta cha ta tau ख फ छ ठ थ च ठ तौ कपय कपय शसर शसर हल हल सो दीज आर दी फोर्टीन सूत्र अ ई उन सो हियर यू सी अ ई उ दीज आर दी थ्री वॉवल्स एंड देर इज वन नकारा नकारा इज जस्ट दी कॉन्सनेंट रिटर्न एज दिस not complete na, not nakara and akara which makes the sound na this consonant cannot be uttered without a vowel after or vowel before so un un is this this u is a vowel which helps us pronounce this na but this na na is not actually nakara it is if you say na then na is nakara and akara so i'll i'll be saying nakara so nakara is what this just na this this part is called nakara it is a hal it's a hal means it's a consonant and this how do you write this nakara you write as nakara i say when i say nakara when i say nakara i mean only hal that sound which is there in the consonant without the akara 
that is nakara so a e un so ends with nakara this consonant nakara but it is a packaging letter it is an indicatory or a packaging letter which is not the content of the sutra really it is the sutra is has these vowels akara ikara ukara are the vowels nakara is a packaging letter and what is its purpose we'll see further it can make a short form un so un is a short form in is another short form un is another short form so un is not really short because un means only ukara in means though ikara and ukara i can say by in akara ikara ukara i can say by in so thereby i can make short forms using this nakara which is the end the consonant the last consonant of any sutra so all sutras end with a consonant you see real rik real rik ends with a kakara kakara is not part of the uh, it is not the real content of the sutra it is added to make short forms it is a part of a sutra all right but it is not a part of vowel which is being talked about this ru and ru are the vowels which are introduced in this sutra real rik similarly a o i ouch till this this part in from akara to this chakara here from this first akara to this chakara here of the this first sutra second sutra third sutra fourth sutra the first four sutras make up the vowels so how can i Uh, have a short form for vowels i take this akara beginning akara and then take this ending chakara this chakara uh, ending consonant chakara and thereby this entire thing all vowels can be called as ach therefore we have this ach as vowel it comes from this sutra that we say what is a vowel swara swara ach ach is a swara ach stands for akara ikara ukara rikara rikara ekara okara aikara aukara not only that what happened to akara ikara all these dirgha plutha also there is plutha as in three matras dirgha is two matras praswa is one matra one matra is in one unit of time akara is one unit of time akara is two units of time akara is three units of time which is called as plutha generally used in vedas or to call someone to say hey rama rama so you call rama so that rama is not rama it is not rama it is rama it is three matras so that is plutha so what happened to those here in the sutra you don't see akara similarly you don't see dirgha ikara plutha ikara you don't see ukara rukara rukara you don't see the dirgha rukara you does not have a dirgha but you see a o i o so what happened to this akara ikara ukara and rukara these are included in in this when we say a akara a when you say a it includes a a and a and so on we'll see more as what all it includes it will come in sutras but i'm just saying that they are included here in ach all the vowels are included similarly from this ha ha ya wa rat and so on you see till the last ha hal this hal the last sutra 14 sutras from this ha to this lakara from this hakara to this lakara you can make a short form hal that short form is different from this short form here hal this is also short, uh, sutra but it is for a technical purpose this is the only place where ha, hakara is repeated the only letter which is repeated here is hakara nakara is also repeated you see nakara here and you see nakara here but that's a ending letter it is not part of the the content it is not the content of the uh, it, it is not a varna which is which is introduced this nakara is used as a packaging letter but nakara is not introduced here nakara as a letter is introduced in this sutra in this sutra you see this na this nakara is the introduction of the letter nakara but this nakara and this nakara these two nakaras are packaging letters they are not the letters which are introduced and this nakara is repeated here as a ending letter and hakara here hakara is repeated this hakara is repeated here in hal so there are two hals this is one hal this entire set is hal and there is another hal here this is for a technical purpose but uh, when whenever hal is used generally i mean generally when hal is used 
this entire set is called as hull that is this hakara and this last lakara what is it it is consonant just like ach is ach ach includes all vowels this a uh, here akara and this chakara here makes a short form ach for all vowels similar this hakara here and this lakara in the end makes up all consonants or vyanjana vyanjanas are consonants hal so hal is equal to all all vyanjanas and ach is equal to all vowels now if you look at it here the order is a a e e u u r r and so on the order is similar but a i o o it should have been a i o o the way we know but it is reorganized it is reorganized for a purpose for making uh, making the uh, su the sutras which are made the, the way they are made are based on this so maheshwara gave this for a particular purpose in this order the order that we learn that is okay for learning but for vyakarana this is the order a o i o similarly here we learned what ka varga ka varga then we learned cha varga ta varga ta varga pa varga but here the it starts from ha then we learned ya varala ya varala ha sha sa sa all this we learned but they are not part of these class consonants class consonants means ka varga is a ka varga is a ka class so ka kha ga ga nya what happened to that order that order is not there anymore we have this order of ha ya va ra then la there is an this anunasika here you see this uh, anunasika on top of akara that follows lakara uh, this is also needed for a uh, technical reason to make another short form there is a, another short form called ra ra there is a short form called ra uh, ra meaning this ra here so ra ra is another short form just like you have this un un is one short form in can be another short form un can be a short form similarly this uh, akara to kakara can be a short form ak you can have ak you can have ik so ik can be there this uh, this set excluding this a uh, uh, here you get ik so ik can be a short form similarly ra can be short form ra is a short form which starts with this re pa and ends with this uh, akara in this uh, sutra lan so this ra this ra with an anunasika a uh, is ra that ra is the, includes repa repa is in rakara rakara is called as repa uh, rakara is not uh, encouraged it, it is it is not incorrect but then rakara is not uh, considered sadhu so people uh, in vyakarana those who studies study vyakarana vyakaranas say say that this uh, uh, instead of saying rakara one should utter as repa so repa is this ra this uh, re, rakara is called as repa and repa plus lakara is the content of the short form called as ra so in ra short form uh, it is used ra is used so for that technical reason this uh, uh, anuswara is there <coughs> so hal is a consonant hal means all these consonants they are reorder and the reorder you see ha ya forget this ha ya var la now look at this nya ma ga na na so content is nya ma ga na and na makara is 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 an indicatory or a packaging letter so nyam if i say nyam it means nyakara makara nakara 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 and what are these if you see in the ka varga the last letter is ny k kh g g ny in uh, ch varga ch ch j j ny then you have so your nyakara gone nyakara is covered here nyakara is covered k varga fifth letter which is varga panchama k varga s varga panchama is nyakara ch varga s varga panchama is nyakara the fifth of the chakar ch varga the class ch class the, there are five class consonants there are 25 class consonants grouped into five each in the ka varga there is nyakara in the fifth letter as the fifth letter nyakara is in there the cha varga and then you have uh, uh, ta varga there is nakara as the fifth letter then there is nakara in the ta varga and there is makara in the pa varga so you see all these are what basically varga panchama all of these are out of 
out of the class consonants the fifth of the class are taken and grouped together in this this sutra nyamagadanam similarly you see jabai jab jabai and ghadadash jabai and ghadadash these are the fourth of the class so jakara is what cha cha j j p p b b then k kh gh k kh g gh then this this is tha tha da dh all four all fourth of the class and tha tha da dh so all these are jabai and ghadadash so jash if i say jakara to this shakara jash are what are the fourth of the class these are the third of the class these are the shitil here this is the second of the class and these two put together are the second and the first of the class so they are reordered in a particular manner but they cover the so from here if you should go back from kapai and this chatata these are all the last five are are the first of the class then these five are the second of the class these five are the third of the class these five are the fourth of the class and these five are the fifth of the class this is how they are ordered so the sandhi sutras become very easier a lot of other sutras also become easier to create and this is all jnana that has come from maheshwara to pandi maharshi and through pandi maharshi to us then you see these these uh, sha sha sa so uh, people have difficulty uh, differentiating shakara shakara and sakara this is talavya shakara or shankar shakara this is murdhanya shakara or shanmukh uh, shakara and this is dantya shakara this is dantya shakara this, hopefully people don't have trouble here with shakara 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 people have a, uh, have some issue there in uh, pronunciation generally in schools also uh, it is not well taught but if you look at shakara where do you do uchcharana of shakara so wherever you do an uchcharana of yakara or chakara that's where you should do uchcharana of the shankar shakara so y ch sh so if you say sh without changing the position of the tongue when you pronounce y so y ch sh y ch sh is talavya and then ratash ratash rat sh where you pronounce the re pha takara at the murdhanya keep the tongue there and pronounce shakara that is shanmukh shakara or murdhanya shakara so is ta tha sa ta where you pronounce as this ta varga ta tha there you say sa so it's dantya you don't move the tongue from there that is where sakara is pronounced last is hal the sutra hal which uh, this is for a technical reason because uh, uh, to remove this anyonya uh, ashraya mutually dependency uh, it's a little technical so those who want to study can study tikas and so on but uh, it's not important for us in the first sutra in lagu we'll see halantyam so there that hal uh, from this hal it is extended to this hal so hal so hal means all consonants we'll see in the sutra when you come to that so these are 14 sutras iti 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 maheshwarani sutrani anadi sanyarthani so these are this is the lagu vritti so lagu vritti says lagu kara says what iti iti means these and it is what it is an avyaya it is an avyaya almar avyaya as a zero so it is an avyaya zero iti iti includes it is like quotation so what does it include generally iti iti should include whatever was uttered last and what was uttered last they all 14 sutras were uttered so therefore from iti you should take all 14 sutras so iti iti maheshwarani sutrani which sutrani maheshwarani sutrani this abo maheshwarani maheshwara sutras all 14 sutras so by iti maheshwarani sutrani we will take all 14 sutras and in neuter you see mahesh maheshwara is what maheshwarat agatani maheshwarani kanitani sutra those are sutras sutrani in plural those sutras like phalavat phalam phale phalani similarly sutram sutre sutrani this 14 sutras uh, which have come from mahesh maheshwara maheshwarani sutrani just a second well baraha close i think so let me just restart it
because FLM into uh, full screen, FLM is supposed to be to toggle between Sanskrit and English on Varaha. Okay, so it is Maheshwarani Sutrani. So I, I'll be saying, I'll be writing for short form, I'll be writing 1 3 to mean Prathama Vibhakti and Bhau Vachana. So if I say 2 2, it will mean Dvitiya Vibhakti and uh, Dvitiya Vibhakti and Dual, Dvivachana. So 1 3 would be what? Prathama Vibhakti and Bhau Vachana. Similarly, Sutrani also Prathama Vibhakti, Bhau Vachana, Anadi Sanyarthani. So, it is Maheshwarani Sutrani Anadi Sanyarthani. Anadi Sanyarthani is also 1 3 as in Prathama Bhavachana. All these are in Samana Dikrani. They are in opposition. These Maheshwara Sutras, the Sutras which have come from Maheshwara, what are, what are they for? So, they are Arthani. Arthani as in uh, Anadi Sanya Anadi. Anadi is An Adi. An, this is a Bahuri Samasa. Anadi is a Bahuri Samasa. An, Adi Esham Te or Tani Ani is this A A E U you will get one Sanya and, and Sanya is in it's, a, it's actually short form and Sanya is what Sanya is a name Sanya is a name so you say that for example Eshaha Devadatta so so you say Eshaha Purusha Dev Devadatta this person is Devadatta so Eshaha is in Prathama Vibhakti Purusha is in Prathamai Bhakti Ekavachana and Devadatta is also in Ekavachana uh, Prathama Purusha, uh, not Prathama Purusha, sorry, Prathamai Bhakti Ekavachana. So you have Eshaha, Purushaha, Devadatta. When you say Esha, Purusha, Devadatta, they are all in Samana Rikaranyam. This Eshaha, person, Purushaha, Devadatta, he is his name, Sanya. It is his name. So it is an introduction. Sanya is an introduction of a name. You introduce this person as Devadatta. Similarly, here Iti Maheshwarani Sutrani Anadi Sanyarthani. So Iti Maheshwarani Sutrani are predicated as Anadi Sanyarthani. <coughs> Sorry. So they are predicated as Anadi Sanyarthani. Anadi. Anadi is what? An. An is this. An Adi. An Adi is. An is in the beginning. In this sutras, an is at the beginning. An is a short form which is at the beginning in the first sutra. So first sutra is an. A e un is the first sutra. In first sutra you can make the sanya an. An is the first combination you can make. Second combination you can make is in. Third you can make is un. Whether they are useful or not is different story. Whether uh, Panini Maharshi uses all short forms or not, we do not know. As in, uh, right now we, we do not know. As we go ahead and we see make a list, we can know and it is listed also. But right now we do not know what are these. So you start with as a as a layman, if you start making short forms, you say un is the first short form, in is the second short form, un is the third short form. Then you go to this second indicatory letter, which is called as an it letter. We'll see it when we come to that, but we'll use as indicatory letter, not a packaging letter. So a plus this kakara will be ak. Short form will be ak, e, e plus this kakara will be ik, u plus kakara will be uk, then rik, then lik, so on. Then you go to the third one. You get ang, ing, ung, ring, ling, ing, and om. These are the short forms that you can make. I think these are the pratyaharas. They are also called as pratyaharas. These short forms can be made, and an is at the beginning, therefore an adihi, an adi. Yesham te anadihi, bhauri samasa, those which have an, yesham tani, so in plural it will become tani, in pullinga te, but here it is sanyar thani, so an iti sanya, an adi, an adi, all these where an is at the beginning, in all this an is at the beginning, and an is at the beginning of which, and what is the purpose of, of those? Those are for the purpose of sanya. Therefore, sanya anadi iti anadi sanya anadi is equal to sanya anadi are sanya an in un ityadi all of this include till hal also till hal all of these are what are anadi and anadi sanya 
Anadi is equal to Sanya. Anadi are Sanyaha, are the names. Anadayaha, Sanyaha. In plural, Anadi will declare like Hari. Hari hi, Hari, Harayaha. Similarly, Anadi hi, Anadi, Anadayaha. So, Anadayaha, Sanyaha, or you can take it in singular also. Jato ve kochana. In a group, you can use a singular. So, you can say Anadi hi, Sanya. Sanya is in Sri Linga, but Anadi, Anadi is in. In, you can say neuter or in pullinga, you can say anadi, sanya, uh, anadi is the sanya, anadi are the names for which the, that entire set, uh, the entire set is anadi hi sanya is equal to artha, anadi sanya artha, yesham tani anadi sanya arthani, those are sutras, so finally also this is bahuri, so anadi sanya uh, yesham uh, anadi sanya artha yesham so anadi sanya artha yesham tani sutrani anadi sanya arthani and artha is what prayojanam artha is not meaning artha one of the meanings of the word artha is meaning itself artha synonym is meaning and other is what artha is what purpose prayojanam so artha here is in the sense of prayojanam so anadi sanya artha is equal to prayojanam Yesham Sutra Nam Tani Sutra Ni Anadi Sanyar Thani. So those Sutras, Maheshwara Sutras are for what purpose? Those Sutras whose purpose is Sanya, his purpose is naming. Naming as what? Anadi, An, Adi, An, etc. This is, so Anadi will translate, in Sanskrit it will be Bahuri, but will translate as An, etc. So An, etc. are the names and these names are the purpose for which sutras, those sutras are Maheshwara sutras. So what is the purpose of these sutras? An, etc. These short forms, an, etc. are the purpose. Not only short form, by an, short form is the purpose. And short form finally represents these vowels or consonants or some groups. So thereby, anadi is a sanya, is, an, is a name. And that naming is the purpose for which sutras, those sutras are Maheshwara sutras. So, ai un ityadi. Iti Maheshwarani Sutrani Anadi Sanyarthani Bhavanti. They are for this purpose only. And uh, Esham Antya Itaha. Esham Antya Itaha is what? Esham? Esham Madhye. So Esham. Esham is. <coughs> Esham is Shashti Bhavachana. So Esham Antyaha Itaha. Antyaha. Itaha. So, Itaha is what? It, it is the Pratipadika and it will decline like Marut. Marut Maruto Marutaha. It, Itau Itaha. So, It, Itau Itaha in Prathama Bhuvachana. So, Esham, Esham Madhye among these, Nirdharani Shashti, Nirdharani Shashti among these, Antya. Antya are what? Ante Bhavaha Antyaha. Those which are at the end. So, what is at the end? Esham Sutrana. Esham Sutranam, among these sutras, what is at the end? That is Itaha. That, that is called as It. it so Esham Antyaha, those which are at, at the end are Itaha means what? In plural, Itaha. Itaha is the plural of It. So Esham Antya is among these sutras, whatever is the ending, that is It. So that is It as in It. It is the Sanya. So this this ending, Esham Antya Itaha. Among these, so it is the indicatory letter. This Nakara, Kakara, Nyakara, all these are what? Indicatory letters and they are called as It. It is the Sanya. It is a name given to this. That's what the uh, Laghukara says. Laghukara says what? Esham Antya Itaha. Among these, the last letter is called as It. It is the Sanya for them. Then he says, Hakaradishu Akara, Hakaradishu Akara, Ucharana Artha, Hakaradishu. So the Pada here, there is a Sandhi here. Hakaradishu Akara, Hakaradishu is what? Saptami Bhuvachana. Hakaradishu Akara, the Akara at the end of, uh, uh, just a second, not end of. So Akaradishu. Hakara Uchar Ucharanartha Prasama Ekavachana. 
this akara akara is just the this vowel a what is that vowel a hakaradishu hakaradishu among this hakaradishu madhye among these hakaras hakaradi hakaradi is hakara etc hakara is what this the uh, this ha so from here you land when you say a e un re l k e o n a y o c you land on this ha that that is hakara so hakaradishu hakaradishu akara ha उच्चारणार्था दिस अकारा आफ्टर हकारा आफ्टर यकारा सो स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम हकारा एक्सेट्रा बिगिनिंग विथ हकारा सो हकारा एक्सेट्रा विषय हकारा दी मीन वॉट बिगिनिंग विथ हकारा और हकारा एक्सेट्रा अमोंग हकारा एक्सेट्रा और बिगिनिंग विथ हकारा विच एवर लेटर इज देर अमोंग दोज सूत्रास ऑल दिस सूत्रास अमोंग दोज वॉट एवर इज दिस अकारा यूज हियर दिस hakara is what just just the consonant hakara but akara is used to, for pronunciation you cannot pronounce hakara without this akara being there even in the ka varga when you say ka kh ga ga ny kakara and akara make up ka when you pronounce ka kh ga ga so you say so you say say ka kh ga ga and nya in this word this this is not intended by the kavarga the, these there are actually 10 letters here not 5 you have kakara here and akara you have kakara and akara similarly in hakara the ha ya va rat and so on till last sutra hal these are all consonants only so it is hakara and then akara yakara then akara vakara then akara Repa and then akara, takara and then takara is an it letter anyway. So these are what this akara which are there. This akara here, this akara here, this akara here, and so on till the last hal here. You have an akara here as well. After her, this hakara and akara you can pronounce as her. Otherwise, you cannot pronounce that hakara at all. So what is the purpose of these akaras in between? Hakara dishu akara. That akara is uchcharan artha. So uchcharanam prayojanam artha prayojanam yasya saha yasya akara sya. Akara is for the purpose of, for which there is purpose is to utter to pronounce. Otherwise you cannot pronounce without a vowel. There has to be a vowel following a consonant to pronounce a consonant, or you have to have a vowel preceding. Here the vowel is following, and that is used to pronounce this consonant, but it is not the content there. It, this it is not the content of the letter which is introduced in the sutra therefore when you say hal ha ya va rat ityadi there this what is meant is only hakara only yakara vakara repa ityadi so akara is not the content that is what is said here hakara adishu akara uchcharanartha lan madhye tu itsanyaka lan madhye twitsanyaka twitsanyaka is tu itsanyaka so lan madhye is what मध्ये मध्ये लंड इज दिस लंड लंड सूत्र इन दिस लंड सूत्रे लंड लंड मध्ये इज लंड सूत्र मध्ये इन दिस लंड सूत्र दिस अकारा इज व्हाट इट इज आल्सो फॉर उच्चारण बट नॉट ओनली फॉर उच्चारण इट हैज बीन मार्क्ड एज अनुस्वार एंड दैट अनुस्वार इज एन इट अनुस्वार वोवेल व्हिच इज व्हिच हैज एन अनुस्वार इज एन इट लेटर सो हियर इट इज लंड मध्ये अकारा द लंड मध्ये इट संज्ञक कह अकारा so akara you have to bring bring in here lan madhye lan madhye seventh case plural the uh, seventh case singular lan madhye lan madhye tu it sanyakaha tu it sanyakaha so it sanyayasya it iti sanyayasya sah it sanyakaha bauri it iti sanyayasya akarasya sah akaraha it sanyakaha iti uchyate so it sanyaka is what this akara which is there in land in that sutra land and land sutra should be written as this way there is an anuswar so land madhye in that sutra land that akara is not merely for uchcharana but it is also an itsanyaka because using that sutra some other purpose is meant that akara is there and it is made anuswara based on that anuswara some other rule will be made and by that rule there will be that that akara which is 
अनुनासिका 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 अकारा विल गेट इट्स नेम एज इथ इट विल गेट अ संज्ञा एज इथ जस्ट लाइक दीज अदर्स विच आर दीज एंडिंग लेटर्स जस्ट लाइक नकारा इज इथ ककारा इज इथ and then so on there are 14 it letters here lakara the all the ending consonants are it letters but there is one vowel which is it letter which is in this lund this akara is it therefore in this 14 sutras there are total 15 it letters 14 uh, 15 consonants which are it letters and one akara which is it letter one vowel so there are 15 it letters in this 14 sutras this is the Maheshwara Sutra being introduced by the Vrittika, uh, the Lagurutti. So Sanya Artha Prayojanam Yeshamte and Sanya Artha is what uh, this this Sanya, what we saw here, Anadi, Anadi Sanya. So not only Sanya Artha, Anadi, Anadi Sanya, Anadi is the Sanya, Anadi. I'll mark in quotation. Anadi is this Anyadi Sanya Artha. Artha is equal to prayojanam. Artha means prayojanam. Yesham sutra nam. So sutra nam. Tani sutra ni. Anadi sanyar thani. Okay, this is the meaning of this anadi sanyar thani. Here on the other uh, sanya prakaran. So sanya prakaran starts after this. संज्ञा प्रकरण विल स्टॉप हियर आल डू द संज्ञा प्रकरण इन दी नेक्स्ट पार्ट हा विल डू द प्रेयर दिस प्रेयर इज देयर इन दी इन दी टिप्पणा यू सी आफ्टर दी सेकंड पॉइंट एलोबरेटेड देयर इन दी सेकंड पॉइंट देयर इज दिस श्लोका वृत्तावसाने नटराजराजो नादक्कापंचवार उद्धर्तु काम सनकादि सिद्धाने तमर्शे शिव सूत्र श्लोक विच स्टेस ट्राई टू राइट दिस फिनिश विद श्लोक Which will be our ending Mangala Charana. Nuttavasani Nuttavasani Nataraja Rajo Nalada Dhakka Nava Panchavaram उधर तु काम सनकादि सिद्धांत विमर्शे शिवसूत्र जालम सो दिस इज दि श्लोक नृत्ता अवसाने अवसाने एट दि एट दि एंड एट दि एंड ऑफ the dance of the nrutta of nataraja raj so nataraja raj ha nataraja raj is the karta of the sentence nataraja raj ha nataraja naam raj ha nataraja raj raja nataraja naam raj ha is nataraja raj ha this nataraja raj ha is nataraja is even the, the king of dances he is a king among the kings so he is an emperor rather among all those who can do the dance the tandava nrutya so at the end of the uh, at the dance this nataraja raja what did he do nanada nanada is little akara he he, he played his uh, damaru so dhakka dhakka nanada he played his dhakka his damaru how many times no pancha varam no nine nova pancha five so nine plus five is 14 times he played his damaru 14 says, times and thereby Uh, gave 14 sutras which are called as maheshwara sutras what purpose he did that uddhar to kama son being being uddhar to kama because he was he he was desirous to do welfare to do uddhara uddhara of whom sanakadi siddhan so there is sanakadi munis 
Sanaka Muni Ityadi are there, all the Siddha, so are Siddha Purushas. So Sanakadi Siddhan Uddhartu Kamaha, being desirous of Sanakadi Siddhas and Etad Vimarshe Shua Sutra Jalam. Etad Vimarshe, when this is analyzed, so when this is, uh, is analyzed, this Shiva Sutra Jalam, Shiva Sutra Jalam, this Jalam is a group, group of Shiva Sutra. You know that these are Shiva Sutras. When these Ai Un are analyzed, Nau Panchavaram, he played this uh, Damru, and when these analyzed, these are Vimarshe, when, once you understand this, these are what? These are Shiva Sutra Jala, they are group of Shiva Sutras. This is the prayer we'll do at the end of each Patha. So we'll stop here, and I'll see you in the next Patha. Um Tat Satya.